Hi guys and welcome to Solar FPV, my name is Anas and uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the same goes for me because I haven't really done very much for a long time. But I thought I'd make a little vlog about whoops because it we're getting into that season where the weather's changing, it's getting more windy, rainy, maybe even freezing outside. So it's time to get all these little, these are brushed whoops by the way, um, ready. Um, hey, check this out. So I got the uh, Light Radio 2 because I bought the Eosheen 79. There's a Banggood, um, there's like a, some kind of a, not a discount. Yeah, there is a discount going for this. The, uh, the Tyro 79 um, with the radio, uh, with the two batteries or four batteries, the Fly More version. And it's uh, pretty cheap. It is, um, it's a really good deal. Uh, I've ordered one more because my friend really wants uh, to get into uh, drones and um, He's obviously not going to be flying this to start with but yeah, well, he, well Eventually he's going to be flying this. I'm going to set it up for him. So it's nice and smooth the way he wants it um, So that he has most he can move the sticks a little bit more. He doesn't like to you know, he likes to have more stick movement before it kind of moves, you know um, It's an okay drone, I guess um, it's got, it's really got some grunt and, um, I just put in my rates and this thing is just absolutely amazing. It's brilliant. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, it binds up perfectly to this one. Um, but I think I'm going to be using my Tyrannus for this one. I really don't know. Um, because I'd rather fly micros, um, with this. Um, and this is, well, this is a micro. This is kind of not a micro, it's a little bit too heavy for a micro. Um, excuse me. Anyway, the radio is really awesome. Uh, I could highly recommend getting this, the right, light radio too. Um, this is Yashin branded, but it's the same components inside. Everything works exactly the same. It uh, They forgot to write something back here. It says light radio. It doesn't say light radio too, but it is. Uh, FR Sky Protocol D16 and D8, but it also has D16 EU LBT mode. Um, so, so it's got three settings. Uh, all you got to do is turn the radio on to change the setting, um, the setup button. Don't push that. Don't do anything with that. Um, well, yeah, I have done. They seem to be recessed pretty nicely. Anyway, uh, the setup button is if you want to go into uh, companion. You plug it in. <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't advise you to do that unless you know exactly what you're doing because it's already been set up in Companion um, since there's no screen on here. So you can't set up things, um, you know, that way. You, you can't do any mixing. You would have to do mixing for models and stuff in Companion. But since this thing has like, uh, you know, um, D16, and stuff when you bind the quads and all that you know um, they would have to be the same settings for the quads unless you know i i haven't used uh, tx uh, companion open tx companion uh, to do anything with this but i know that if you push the settings setup button and plug in the usb to the computer it will come up as an sd uh, slot so you can read the setup and everything um other than that all you gotta do to bind your quads and to change protocols is uh, hold in the bind button. Hold hold this in. Keep holding in the bind button until it starts flashing. Now and now and then it automatically goes into bind mode for about ten seconds. Um, right now it is in D16 FCC mode. That's the first setting. So if I hold this in. It will flash once. See that? So that's in D16 FCC mode. So let's turn it off. We just hold in to turn off and hold it in to turn on. Press the bind button, turn on the radio, wait and keep holding in until it finishes flashing. Flash twice. Now it's in bind mode again. And now it's in uh, D16, um, FR Sky D16, this is SBUS, um, EU LPT mode, right? So let's turn it off again. And then there's the third setting, which is D8. Hold in. It's 
turn it on. It's really simple. And um, then it flashes three times. And then you can let go, and then it starts binding. That's all there is to it. Um, uh, this is the arm switch. This is the mode switch. You can set this up in beta flight. I have this as my uh, um, failsafe switch and uh, or kill switch also in case you know something. I normally always uh, have a failsafe thing. And then this is um, up is air mode on because I like to have a button for air mode. I know a lot of people just have it on on the mode so the air mode's always on when you're in aqua you could do that as well and then you could use this for something else um this could be used for beeper but these ones don't have beepers so uh or it could be used for crash flip i've set it up for crash flip on um on my uh, uh brushless uh micros so uh just in case you get stuck somewhere and you need to crash flip anyway uh enough about the light radio 2 and the uh, Tyro 79, you know, it's okay. They come with a battery, you know, mat, and it's, uh, it's still not zip tied down. That's all I gotta say. This, these fly off really easily. So glue these on the tips. They're just gonna fly on off. I think the straws, they're gonna fly off as well. So glue them in. That's all I can say. Um, yeah, linear antenna. So. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need a patch antenna. I also just got the uh, Bandicoot Linear Menace RC, which is what I use for whoops. And before, um, back in the day, well, I got the Sentry. Um, they have, this one has um, 14 dBi, which is pretty nice. Um, so this has got really good penetration. And it's really good, good range as well. I get really nice range with these two. Um, this obviously I have on because this is one of those antennas. This is a very old one. Um, and um, and then I just have this one, you know, just in case. So. Yeah, uh, that's kind of it. So now I've got a lunch box set up with my uh, goggles. I'm waiting for some Pagoda antennas as well. Uh, these small stubby ones that can go on to my, uh, you know, so I can just bring the antennas that I need for whenever whatever I'm flying. Oh, this is turning out to be a long video, but I haven't done a video in a long time, so I hope you like it anyway. Let's talk about these quads. Right, so these are F3. These are all F3 boards, by the way. Uh, these are SP Racing F3 boards, um, all of them. Um, this is the Queen F3. This is a different, this was like a pro whoop board back in the day. Kind of expensive, but it's uh, still very good. Um, like a lot, I've got the solid pin uh, connectors on here. Uh, I might shorten this down a little bit because it's actually very long. Um, there's not really much to say. My camera mount has broken with in a crash, so I'm gonna need to get some more 3D print ones. But yeah, this is rocking the um, the bigger motors, you know, like the Santa drone. Uh, so it's got quite a lot of power. It's uh, running, um, believe it or not, it's uh, running Butterfly. And, um, yeah, seems to be working fine. Um, no issues there. I haven't really done... I, d I don't know if I'm going to update this. I could. Because I just updated this one to Beta Flight uh, version 4.06. And this is the SP Racing F3. That's the last stable version. And um, I've tuned this. And um, it's flying really, really damn good. It's flying damn good this one uh only have a problem is that it you know if it if it gets really low with battery it will just fall out of the sky it will lose connection um which i don't understand why because this one doesn't but i guess it's got to do with the power and uh, you know so yeah um they can all fly on 250 milliamp batteries and 300 milliamp batteries don't know if 350s are going to be too heavy this one is the one i've built for my friend uh, who's starting out to fly drones uh, a little bit more seriously and um, eventually we're gonna put a camera on this it's uh, all ready to put a camera on but yeah and this is something I built myself so yeah this flies really really nicely with these props I must say I'm really impressed um, 
I have uh, set it up. This has got Betaflight version 3.2.2. And there are some settings in Betaflight, uh, which is uh, set throttle underscore correction equals. And then, so if you, t if you go into CLI and type uh, set and go enter, then you get all the settings that you can actually manually put in into beta flight because there's not a, not everything is uh, done through the UI uh, UI uh, the, the user interface some of some of the features in beta flight are not uh, accessible through the user interface you got to actually type the code for it so <clears throat> since this one doesn't have a mix then I read online that you can do some throttle correction in beta flight and that's what I've done so I have throttle correction set to three, which is what I read was good. And that seems to work, work pretty, pretty nicely. And um, yeah, so I can highly ad advise that. There's another thing you also have to do, which is throttle, uh, set throttle. Uh, oh, there's another set point right under set throttle correction in beta flight. But yeah, check it out in beta flight. Search for um, uh, the Mockingbird project on uh, Google put some epoxy on these I don't know why but it's just weighing it down um, yeah search for the mockingbird project there's a lot of info about uh, how to set up these tiny brushed uh, whoops so that they fly really really nicely um, on yeah pits that really depends there I mean you can play with the P and the I gain and sometimes you have to put the D gain a little bit up I think I have D uh, I think I have D to about 40, 45. I've heard people having them all the way up to 60 with these small um, drones. Um, another thing that I have is I have filtering set to PT1 instead of biquad. I've turned off the notch filters uh, on all of them. Um, yeah, just turn down the filtering. Uh, there's no really need. There's so many ways you can tune these quads. Um, and there are so many different, um, yeah, different uh, things you can find online about how to tune your uh, brushed uh, micro whoops. And it's kind of confusing, you know, because you get all these different kinds of pids and uh, rates as well. Rates are very personal, but you get all these kinds of different pids that just, you know, so, so which one should you use? Well, um, you could just use the stock pits and then if you if you get wobbles you know at, at the end of uh, at the end of, of flips and rolls then you got to race you know you know, probably start off by start racing you know tune the P just keep racing the P until the it you know handles prop wash and everything nicely but if you raise the P too much then uh, it will probably start you know oscillating as well so it's a balance, you know, you really got to just take it one letter at a time. First do the P's, then do the I's, and then D's. Now with uh, brushless motors or quads, you have to really be careful with the, with the D. Uh, you can raise the D, don't worry about it, but it's a little bit, um, it can be dangerous. You can smoke motors if you raise it too much and fly for way too long. So always, you know, if you raise the D, it's not too extreme with these small brushed ones because they they have a little bit more flexibility in the pit tunes but yeah mix i mean i can't show you my uh i'm not going to show you my diffs or dumps or anything on my tuned my rates or anything because um you know these three quads are running three different types of software so their pits are totally different because their parameters you know of what the numbers of the pit tune is actually translated to in the quad is very different um just because you know that's just the way it is with these things so there's not really any point in doing that but go online and check out the mockingbird project the uh, mockingbird project really helped me get these uh, little brushed ones to fly really nicely i mean they fly amazing in angle mode and that's really what these are made for racing in angle mode and uh, but they can also do acro so yeah so go check uh, the mockingbird project out and I think I've said that like a lot of times now. I'm just rambling on while I'm sitting here working on this. But yeah, 
Uh, there were I had some plans uh, to do some videos and stuff um, using my drones, and uh, the weather has just been horrible here. So it's, I've only been you know flying whoops indoors, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing for quite some time because the weather is just not. It's just relentless. It's autumn, so very windy. Impossible to fly outside um, with some small micros. Yeah. Anyway, uh, ask uh, me questions down below about these. If you really, really, really want my uh, to see my, uh, you know, my pits, then I'm gonna have to do a different video about it where I film my computer and I plug all these in, so you can see all the differences. Um, a lot of things, I mean, the rates are pretty much the same. I have the same rates on these. Uh, I have a little bit higher rates on this one, um, and because it's a bit heavier. And yeah, that's it. Um, stay tuned for more RC related content. I hope you like this video. Um, subscribe below and comment below. And thank you for watching. And as always, fly hard.